The Word of God says in Galatians chapter 2, verse 21, I do not frustrate the grace of God, for if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. The following hypothetical demonstrates the foolishness of asserting that eternal life is attained through both faith in Christ and obedience to the law. The argument being that if righteousness is attained through our obedience to the law, the death of Christ would be in vain. It would be meaningless. Why? Because man could have just obeyed the law. Think about that. If righteousness is attained through water baptism, through church attendance, man could have just attended church. Man could have just been baptized in water. If righteousness is attained through self-reformation, turning from sins, through good deeds, doing good works, then why did Jesus have to die on the cross, be buried, and rise again? Watch this. What is the point of of what he did for us if salvation is dependent upon what we do for him. I'll say that again. What is the point of what he did for us if salvation is dependent upon what we do for him? Salvation is not a joint effort. God does not need your help. You are the sinner. I am the sinner. He is the Savior. He does the saving. Salvation is of the Lord. It is not of yourselves. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of who? God, not of works, lest any man should boast. The only thing man can do to be saved is the only thing man must do to be saved. Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved and thy house. If you are not 100% certain that you're going to heaven when you die, I encourage you to watch the video in the description below, How to Be Saved from Hell, The Only Way to Heaven, and Be Saved Today. God bless.